It's been a while since you've done the TV route. With Office coming back to TV, do you change up how you direct compared to when you're on your films, or is it very similar? Very generous of you to say coming back to television. I mean, you know, I direct a couple of episodes of The Office, but really I was just kind of day playing there. This is the first time where I've been on a television show from day one, where, you know, I was in the writer's room all the time, you know, on set, in editing, and uh, it's been really exciting. It is a whole new thing for me. I had the least amount of experience of anyone in the group when it came to television. Was it, what, what, what did you want to tackle then? I mean, was that the appeal that it's something brand new, let's go for it? It's You know, look, uh, I can't help but be in love with everything that's happening in television show, uh, television right now. There's so many shows that I love watching. And I was curious what it would be like to tell a story that is episode to episode instead of act to act. You know, I feel like I was a, a small part of a giant film. And uh, it was a whole new experience. It was really cool. You know, you put um, your producer name behind a lot of great films like Whiplash and you got Demolition coming up. What is it about those filmmakers that you like or, or find that just you want to help them out and bring what you've been able to do to, to the producing side of it? I mean, look, Jean-Marc and Damien are just brilliant filmmakers and frankly, I feel very lucky to have my name on those films. Helen Esterbuck, who I work with, you know, really had the larger hand in making those films happen. And I, I honestly feel very lucky that I get to collaborate with either of them in any way. Um, I'm just filled with admiration for them. You know, in the uh, conversation earlier, you brought up Young Adult being one of your favorite movies that you've made. Uh, it's my favorite movie. Um, what, do you, I mean, I know they're all your babies, but what was it about Young Adult that you just enjoyed so much and really stuck with you on the, on the filming process? You know, uh, I, I think what I love about Young Adult um, is... Uh, there's something brave about it. There's something dangerous about it. Uh, it was a little scary. We went for something, we stuck for it, and we never blinked. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of Paramount for making that film. I'm proud of Charlize for giving, I think, one of the best performances of her career. And it, it, felt, like, uh, it felt like going off the high dive. You've, you've been a fan of Austin Film Festival. What is it about this festival? Is it the writer conference? Is it being writer-centric that you like, or do you just prefer this kind of environment? Look, I love film festivals in general. I love this city. I love the filmmakers that call Austin home. And this is a film festival that's been good to me from day one. I won an award for a short film back here in 2000, which is getting longer and longer ago. <laughs> uh, and I love that it is a writer-centric festival. You know, film festivals uh, tend to hail the directors, hail the actors, and this is a festival, obviously, that is about writing, uh, which is at the heart of independent filmmaking. And the last question, what does it mean to you that to know that this show has already been picked up, that there will be another 13 episodes, that your work is just, it's caught in fire on, on television now? Uh, it's a real thrill, and look, um, I think on films, I feel like I'm driving the bus. On a television show, I feel like I'm on the bus, and I'm just thrilled to be on this bus with people that I really get along with well. We have great chemistry on this show, uh, over the moon that we found an audience, and it's exciting that we get to make more episodes. I hope we get to keep going.